You guys do the pound, the fist pound? It's sweeping the nation. Do it. We're all urban. Why not? <laughs> I don't feel that comfortable doing it, though. I'll do it. Like, I'll succumb to it. Like, someone goes, and I go, oh, sh we're both white. <laughs> What I sometimes do, though, is I wuss out. Like, someone will go, hey, what's up, player? And I'm like, yeah, here we go. And yeah, you know what? And I go for a standard. But they've already done that, so I just panic and grab it like a doorknob. <laughs> oh, shit. And turn it instinctively. Just turn it. It's not a doorway to your heart? <laughs> and I pull their, ow, what is carpal tunnel? Why are you fainting? Oh, everyone's like, are you gay? I'm not gay. I'm not gay. It's just my penis has a bit of a sweet tooth. And that's just something <laughs> funny to say. I have a random house dictionary, which is a stupid name for a dictionary. No, random house. You think a dictionary company's name would at least suggest that book being alphabetized. But no, random house. It's ra it's cat, zoosophone, balls. This book's so spontaneous. <laughs> then it flies away. I don't know how to end it. The book has to fly away. You know, I go to skate parks. And uh, skate parks now have become like daycare centers. Parents just drop their kids off. And I like kids a lot. I'm an uncle, and I used to work at a daycare, so I have a rapport with kids. They like me back. And um, <laughs> it's weird, though, when you're around, because I'm trying to do something, and I'm serious about it, and there's little kids, like cute little kids, but they're tacking around on little roller skates or whatever, and the crooked helmet, and I'm like, oh. But the other day, I was at a cement skate. I dropped in, and there's this little kid, like, in the middle of where I needed to go. Like, adorable, but it's still like, fuck. And I, I, I hit him, but I, when I hit him, I kind of embraced him. And I'm like, oh, because I didn't want him to get hurt. His helmet flew off, and I was like, oh, sweetie. That's what I said. I said, oh, sweetie. And the kid looked at me like, oh, all right, pedophile. But I was like, nah, sweetie, sweet. I said, sweet. Ah, sweet, you know, like, sweet. <laughs> but it was too late, you know. I already had a boner. And it's like funny kids these days. They're so on edge. That was me, Chris Fairbanks, and you can tell by my jokes that I used to have dreams. One of the dreams I had was uh, I'd stay in this tree, like in the woods, and a moose comes up. He doesn't know I'm there because I'm being silent. And I jump out of the tree, I have a knife, and I stab the moose in the head before he even knows I land on him. What I'm saying is it's important to have dreams. Ew, that robot just barfed.